First favorite photo shoot is the Sunny Cha. Sunny Cha is a Taiwanese colorful layered tea. This was taken two weeks ago when I came back to KL after my semester break. It was an unforgettable experience of watching the staff making the layered tea. The visual of the tea was mesmerizing. The layered teas were placed on the light up display tables with torch lights shining from the back. With the help of the lightings, the teas are the spotlight and the center of the stage. The colors were glowing and looked like neon colors. My second favorite photo shoot is the smoke platter. This photo reminds me of my short trip to go back for lunch on Christmas Eve last year. My parents, sister and I stopped by a famous coffee shop called the Kopeng and the Kopitiam. The plating and display of the dishes were absolutely beautiful. It was neatly arranged in a way to express the customer's sight. This was the time where I paid more attention to the lighting and the angle of the dish when I took the photo. My third favourite photo shoot was taken at a fishing village in Kuala Sepetang. This reminded me of the fresh and mouth-watering seafood I had for lunch while enjoying the cool breeze which filled the surroundings. The view of the fishing boats in front of the seafood restaurant caught my attention. It showed a short scene of the local people's daily lives. My fourth favorite photo shoot is a wishing card. This wishing card marks a memory of my family and I visited the Ching Sing Ling and cultural village in my hometown, Ipoh, two years ago. While I was at the village, I found a row of colorful wishing cards in different shapes and sizes. It looked like the love locks at Lam Sam Tower in Seoul. We wrote our wishes and hopes for the future. My last favorite photo shoot is the French village, Coma Tropical. It was an unforgettable trip with my aunt and grandma from Indonesia. We explored the French village and took countless photos of ourselves with them. In this photo, the contrasting brightness between the front and back view looks interesting. The shadows of the French buildings were spread on the ground. This first photo shoot is taken by a Russian photographer, Eric Elmas. This photo shows different sizes of Russian dolls doing their daily routines in a blue room. In my own interpretation, I came across an unexpected reality of what is it like when the Russian dolls would be alive as a woman. It shows different movements of the same Russian doll doing various activities. This second photo shoot is taken by a French photographer, Henry Carter Branson. He showed various circular movements in one photo. The man riding the bicycle on a rounded pathway. The circular stairs which follows up the movement. The black and white effect gives a vintage and an old-fashioned feeling to the photo. The direction of the movements are similar to each other. This third photo shoot is taken by a Malaysian photographer, Chusha To. The composition is quite messy and different from other ordinary photos. The position of the bowls let the noodles drop on the table, as well as the biscuits on the table. It looks unique and attracts my attention. The table design contrasts with the complicated position of the food. 
it gives more focus to the food rather than the background. This fourth photo shoot is taken by a French photographer, Eric Lefort. In this photo, it looks like the woman is looking at her photos of herself doing her daily chores. The details are very focused. For example, her wrinkled skin and hair which shows clear features of the woman. It looks like the woman is looking back at her past memories of herself in the album. And finally, this last photo shoot is taken by a French photographer, Rihan. The contrasting colours between the blue sky and sunset is breathtaking. The colours blend in smoothly which shows a clear image of the sunset. He focus on the colours of the sky rather than the person. Therefore the person only shows a silhouette. I like the way the colours of the sky are reflecting onto the clear water which blends in with the green crops.